The first kind of concentration that you're going to have to be able to calculate is called percent by mass. Percent by mass is equal to grams of solute over grams of solution times 100. Let's look at the first problem we're going to calculate right now. If I have 25 grams of salt and 65 grams of water, what is the percent mass of this solution? Here's our formula. Percent by mass is equal to the grams of solute. 25 grams is the grams of solute. Over the grams of solution. 65 grams of water is not the solution. That is the solvent. Solution equals solute plus solvent. We need to add the 25 and the 65 together to get grams of solution. 25 and 65 is 90 grams of solution. And then we're going to multiply it by 100. Taking out our calculators, 25 divided by 90 times 100 is equal to 27.78% mm, grams over grams, salt solution. Now that's the first kind of problem for percent by mass. The second kind of problem looks like this. If I have 75 grams of a 12% salt solution, how many grams of salt are in there? In other words, I'm trying to find out how many grams of solute are in 75 grams of a 12% solution. To solve any problem in chemistry, what's the first thing we write down? The given. The given is going to be the 75 grams. It's never going to be the percent. It's going to be the grams of solution. So let's write that down. We have 75 grams of salt solution. We also know that it is a 12% solution. What does percent mean? Percent means out of 100, which means I have 12 grams of salt in 100 grams of solution. Now, I want to cancel out solution, don't I? That means I'm going to write down 12 grams of salt in 100 grams of salt solution. Grams of solution cancels out. And now I can multiply and divide. So I have 75 times 12 divided by 100, which means I have 9 grams of salt in 75 grams of a 12% solution. The third type of calculation you're going to have to know how to do is this one right here. Well, if I have 100 grams of salt in a 25% salt solution, how many grams of solution are there? A totally different question. But we're going to solve it the same way in that we're going to write down the given first. 100 grams. It is 100 grams of salt. Do you see, it's not 100 grams of salt solution. It's just 100 grams of the solute salt. Now I have a 25% solution, and I want to find out, well, how many grams of solution are needed to contain 100 grams of salt? So let's put in our conversion factor. A 25% mass-mass solution means I have 
100 grams of solution, okay? 100 grams of solution, and in that are 25 grams of salt. Do you notice that now the salt cancels out? This is easy to do in our heads, isn't it? 100 divided by 25 is 4 times 100 is 400 grams of the salt solution. Okay, what does this mean? This means that I need 400 grams of the total solution, which is 25%, in order for me to contain 100 grams of salt. These are the three types of percent by mass calculations you need to know how to do.